Welcome back. Goa government plans to promote bird tourism in the state. A book on birds of Goa was released. Chiti DC MD Nikhil Desai proposed that 54 rooms at the old Goa residency should be named after every species of bird and a room should be accommodated for discussions on migrating birds and other bird species. The book is composed by Savio Foseca and Bikram Greval. Old Goa residency has got 45 rooms. It is located strategically very close to the, uh, the Karambolim Lake and the Salimali Bird Sanctuary. I propose that every no room in that residency should be named after a bird of that area and the entire reception <laughs> and the entire reception could be converted into a discussion point where the bird lovers from the world can converge and talk about birds and the efforts to conserve them. The very reason which I came with this book is not tourism, is conservation. We are hardcore conservationists, but yes, we are rational conservationists, we are not the hardcore. Because of my background in business and industry, I know, I understand the love for nature, for conservation, and the need for development, and we have to find a midpoint between those two. FC Goa fans are looking to take their love affair with Romeo Fernandez to a new high in the upcoming Indian Super League Season 2. The electric winger proved to be a very important player in Zico's team as FC Goa made their way to the semi-finals despite a poor start to last season. In the second edition of ISL, the South Goa-based midfielder is expected to take his game to another level and help FC Goa to, find, to make a flying start and be successful. Homegrown hero Romeo Fernandez was initially not a first team regular for FC Goa in the inaugural ISL. However, once he got a chance, the 23 year old India winger from Asolna grabbed it with both hands. His electric bursts from the right and ability to finish off the moves made Romeo a key component of Zico's Samba brand of football. Romeo scored his first goal for the club in a 2 0 win over FC Pune City. He had played that match replacing marquee player and former Arsenal star Robert Pires. There was no stopping then for Romeo from cementing his place in Zico's scheme of things. Romeo then scored against Northeast United FC, which also happened to be the 100th goal of the ISL. FC Goa then stunned heavyweights Chennai in FC in Chennai and Romeo played a crucial role scoring his third goal of the campaign. By the end of ISL, Romeo had impressed Zico with his tremendous talent and the legendary Brazilian backed Romeo for an overseas stint. However, Romeo's foray in Brazilian football with club Atletico Paranaense did not last long. Nevertheless, Romeo's confidence and skills should be at an all-time high, enabling FC Goa to make it to the finals of the ISL Season 2. Bureau Report, Prudent. And with this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Prudent. Take care and goodbye.